I haven't posted a video in a long time because um, I have writer's block for the first time in my life. I'm very angry. I'm very annoyed. Um, so I don't, I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I've seen some disturbing things online. I, uh, I don't have any of my typical witticisms that are the signature of this show. I certainly don't have anything funny to say about anything that's going on in the Middle East right now. But there are people like that out there. You could listen to Norman Finkelstein or Sam Cedar or Noam Chomsky. Plenty of people who are smarter than me and more insightful on this issue. I'm simply trying an exercise here. I'm simply trying to uh, plow through this block. And uh, you can join me if you like because I'm going to do something entertaining. Well, something that's entertaining on paper. I'm going to take a dump on uh, Amy Schumer. This is Amy Schumer on Instagram today. It says a couple things. What I want is every hostage back. All caps. Does she want every hostage back? Really? I mean, listen. There are hostages being taken out of the West Bank right now. There are, uh, they are um, blindfolded, thrown in the back seats of trucks. And uh, the kidnappers uh, do like carpool karaoke TikToks after beating the living crap out of these people. These are civilians that they're kidnapping. Not to mention the many hostages that were taken before October 7th. People who were just simply waving a flag end up locked up in some dark hole somewhere, never to be seen again. Do you, does she really want every hostage freed? I want safety and freedom from Hamas for Palestinians and Israelis. You know how she added Palestinians in there? That's called concern trolling. I want safety for Jewish people and Muslims as well. Well, she's basically been con comparing Muslims to rabid animals that need to be put down uh, for the past uh, couple weeks. But okay. Everyone, just like you, I want peace. If she wanted peace, she would have called for a ceasefire. She's steadfastly against the ceasefire. That's why nobody likes her. You will never see me wishing harm on anyone. She's literally been doing nothing but. Saying I'm Islamophobic or that I like genocide is crazy. Well, once again, you haven't called for a ceasefire. And as far as Islamophobia goes, she's literally like posting stuff on, 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 um, on social media, fantasizing about, uh, you know, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar kidnapping, murdering her children. But okay. So here you go by popular demand. I'm fairly certain popular demand is not. Can we hear more, Amy? That's actually me. I'm the one. If I were here in person, I would hand her a shovel so she could keep digging her own hole. I mean, I take great delight. I, I, I can't wait for a new Amy Schumer post to drop because I just want to see how crazy it gets. Comments on. So here you go by popular demand. Comments on. Please keep the below in mind. Comments on. I really, I have to say, when people post provocative things online and then they block replies, that's just chicken shit and you shouldn't even bother to read the post. It's a waste of time. It's cowardly. Don't listen to the opinions of cowards. When you say I'm rich, please add in self-made. I come, come being dirt poor. I come, come being dirt poor. Well, no. She was raised uh, wealthy on the Upper East Side of Manhattan. Her parents ran a baby furniture company. I don't know why babies are going around buying furniture. But apparently on the Upper East Side... Babies have a lot of money to throw around because her parents were millionaires. Um, 
Senator Chuck Schumer is my dad's second cousin once removed. I didn't meet him until I was 25. You mean you were so annoying that even one of the most annoying people in the Senate avoided you for 25 years? I have never been given any money to support a cause other than tampons. I have no idea what that means. I think that's an attempt at humor. But since David Tell didn't write it for her, since Anthony Jeselnik did not write it for her, it's basically gibberish. I have never stolen a joke. She has stolen many jokes. Do you? My favorite joke that she stole was, um, um, people think I'm dumb, but I'm actually very well read. Wait, <clears throat> I, f I messed up the, the delivery. People think I'm dumb, but actually I'm very well read. That's, uh, came from Zach Galifianakis. And she had it on her leather special, maybe, I think. People calling me a failed comic. Well, you're a failure in that people don't respect your comedy. I mean, I'm sure you got paid a lot of money for it. But a failed comic means, we mean like you failed as an artist. You know, it's, it's just not yours, your material. So you just regurgitated somebody else's work and your fans don't really care because they're fans of you and not fans of comedy. So it's like, you're like a cover band. Is a cover band in a bar successful songwriters? I don't know. Um, I'm the most successful female comedian of all time. Okay, she says, people calling me a failed comic, I'm the most successful female comedian of all time. Humble brag. Actually, Roseanne Barr is the most successful female comedian of all time. Let's see what Amy Schumer made in her last season of her television show. And let's see what Roseanne Barr made in her last season of her television show. That was $40 million. I don't think Amy Schumer made that much money. Maybe if you combined all of her specials, she might come close to $40 million. But I don't think so. And plus, keep in mind, she made 40, Roseanne made $40 million in the 90s. But it's weird, because they both have the same politics now, so. I'm ugly, fat, slash fat. Okay, sorry you aren't attracted to me. You don't have to be sorry, just... Just don't be around. I found someone who is. I hope you find someone, too. You hear that, folks? If you're against genocide... If you're against apartheid, if you're against oppression in any form, are you really sure that you're actually against it or is it you just haven't gotten laid? I think that's the case. Or maybe she meant love. Maybe you just haven't found, if you're against, if you want a ceasefire, if you want this infanticide, this targeting of children, for land seizure. This mass murder to end. Maybe you just haven't found love. You know, the way she's found love with Kermit the Frog. We're all in a lot of pain, some more than others. What hurts the most is that we actually love each other. You know, I don't think we do. In fact, there are so many evil people out there and so many stupid people. And I've said this before, I apologize if you've heard me say this already. There are so many stupid and evil people out there that sometimes I fear I don't have enough hate in my heart to go around. You hate, oh. She's basically called everybody in the world, except for her an anti-Semite. And we don't even know why. You don't know why I still love you. Well, you just called everybody in the world an anti-Semite. I don't feel like that's love. But she does. It is important for her to give people the impression that she is better than they are. Wow. This is raw narcissism. 
You know, people say, um, people are worried all the time about being on the wrong side of history, but the, the thing about technology is, history is now. I mean, you say the wrong side of history and they think to themselves that they're, if they're Amy Schumer that, well, I got a 20 year head start before people realize, people realize how evil I am. I don't think that's the case. I think history is about to smack her right across the back of the head. Maybe the next time she tries to get a Netflix special and the employees walk out. Or the next time she tries to go to a comedy club and people either give her the cold shoulder or straight up heckle her. Call her a lot of names that she's not wanting to hear. She is now known as a white supremacist. That's a jacket she's not going to be able to take off. I hope 